everyone this is Susie with Creative Cafe and I finally got my steampunk spells uh, mini album done that's Graphic 45's new uh, paper collection uh, that just came out not too long ago and I kept it pretty simple on the cover I just kinda cut out the steampunk spells um, cut the lady out here and just um, kinda glued the uh, potions and charms little um, piece from one of the papers there uh, took a flower so I could kind of cover up where I chopped her arm off there and anyway I did use my um, embossing machine to emboss this cardstock and I and I did this just like I did the other I put the sticky back canvas on the back part of this to make this cardstock nice and sturdy um, here is the back I've just added a little piece of the black cat tag that came out of the paper um, there's the back of the binding there and uh, anyway um, this is an um, 6 by 11 is what it came out to be um, the only thing I didn't like here is in my binding I forgot to put a hinge on there so you can kinda see the canvas from the uh, um, where I put the binding on so I forgot to put a hinge on the front and so I just kind of had to work around it um, I probably need to stick that back down anyway I tried to hurry yesterday and get it done while I had time and uh, anyway I made this out of the recycled which came out craft manila folders that I got at Staples they're called recycled uh, but they are the craft in color so I bought a couple boxes because I really liked them I like the fact that they were craft colored and anyway uh, you open it up and I've left this for well I like the way it looked just like that if you didn't put a picture on it at all but it'd be really easy to put maybe some wallet size photos over here or you know even the bigger photos here and then it opens up again here and then you have the four by six photo mats here and I have uh, purchased the sticker sheet along with this and that's what that is from just a place to journal and it just closes back up like this and I could have added as many folders as I wanted to on here um, you know you could have made the book as large as you wanted to it could have just went on and on and on so uh, just by doing a basic uh, step you know with your folders and just repeating it over and over here I've added a couple of um, just wallet size photo mats and then a pocket for some photos here just three little three little um, tags there and you could put a picture on the back and then they just kind of set in the in the pocket there and then this here I've just these just pull off and of course you can add pictures here I've just backed that in some card stack you can put a picture on the back and then these I left because they're pretty much you know you could journal on the back and journal here so I didn't want to cover them over with um, card stock and they just slip on there and then you open it up here and I have this is just a piece of scrap that was over from the um, folder where I had cut it up and I just made a pocket out of it and then I made a little oops I got some adhesive on there I made just a little booklet here that just slides in there and of course you could add photos here on the back side and then here we go again this like I said this just by doing that one basic um, uh, piece there you could just keep going on and on and on so I just repeated it here you open it up you know you could add photos there and it opens here I've just added a little piece of the sticker here another couple of four by six photo mats place for journaling there you know and you could always add wallet size photos on the back side of even the flap but this just kind of closes back in like that and then here is the back part which has the pocket again and here I've added some large uh, tags so you can put large photos there on the back side so and they just slip in slip in the side there 
and then a wallet size photo here, 4 by 6 photo here. And I've got a lot of adhesive just kind of wanting to hang on. I didn't get off. This is the chipboard tag here I added. And then the back side of this one I didn't put a pocket on. I just added a little booklet for 4 by 6 photos there and a wallet size photo here. And then I finally used my We Are Memory Keepers uh, envelope punch and I made these two envelopes. Uh, this is like a 5x5 five five, and I can't remember what size this one is. Uh, probably a 3x4 or 3.5x4 or something. Uh, but anyway, and you can slip photos or whatever you want in there. And this is the same way. I really like the envelope punch. I plan on using it for just the, some of the 12 by 12 papers that I have uh, kind of laying around that, you know, they're just scrap. You're not going to use them. There's not enough to make another album or something, and you want to make some envelopes. So that's what I plan on doing with it. And then uh, that pocket, and then here is the back side. So my album isn't really large. I made it kind of small. Uh, but anyway, here is the album, and um, I, I don't know if I'll get to do a tutorial on it, and if I do, it'll probably be a little on down the road. i got so much going on right now. Uh, but anyway, this is the album. I hope that you enjoyed it.